Hey, Michelle. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing very good. Uh, don't yeah. you just love fandoms and everything no. that they have to <laughs> everything that they have to share with us, especially Twitter. You know, Twitter's such yeah, a wonderful no. place. It's no. just there's no one place better. Uh, so I thought it was a good idea to uh, to drag you over here. Uh, totally a term. <laughs> uh, totally by your own volition. Mm-hmm. And I thought to ask Twitter, hey, you know, it, the best thing about any fandom, you know, especially us loving Persona uh, and that that beautiful fandom, the best thing about it mm-hmm. is seeing people's theories and headcanons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you, you're with me there. So I just uh-huh. like to ask them to say, you know, some of their favorite or, you know, just some of their favorite headcanons, theories, just stuff that really sticks out to them and and stuff that they believe might be the case. You know, just just right past that surface where all discussion should be. Yeah, for Yuji is gay, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, for the audience, we'll be going down a list of uh, different tweets. Uh, for clarity, this is not the first time we've recorded this. The other time, my computer disagreed. Yeah. Uh, so this isn't our first yeah. time seeing these, but we'll we'll still we still have a lot to say about them. So I hope you at least uh, appreciate I, it. I still really love and find funny. I didn't mention this to you, but I do love. Uh, two days ago, we tried recording this for the first time. Me thinking, I don't know, should I try recording it just in case? And I'm like. Nah, it'll be fine. You know, I, I almost asked you. Um, I had a, I had a little bit too much confidence in fate uh, being nice to us. Yeah. But real quick, let's pause for a word from our sponsor, Ace Defender. Ace Defender is a high-quality strategy RPG masterpiece, combining authentic turn-based RPG battle with tower defense elements. The game has a traditional RPG storyline with over 40 chapters, including nearly 2,000 levels. You can level up, combine heroes, and equip gear to create a powerful lineup. With 48 heroes to start with, two releasing every other week, and deep backstories for them all, you'll have plenty to appreciate. Go on expeditions in the main story, or go at it in PvP and PvE combat. New users who downloaded the game with my link will get 10 Royal Recruit tickets after completing level 2-8. You can use your tickets by clicking on Sky City, then Tavern, and then Recruit Times 10. Go download Ace Defender today, and I hope you enjoy Defending Like an Ace. A very big thanks to Ace Defender for supporting the channel and keeping the lights on. To get started, uh, with a, with a pretty, a pretty chill one. Honestly loved the idea of you becoming a detective after the P4 games. He works with Naoto and Dojima at times. Also liked the idea that he investigated the Phantom Thieves at a point in time. This is a fun, chill one. I, I can see it happening. Yeah, I've, I've heard this one, uh, this one I've always heard before. I remember hearing even, I remember even hearing a rumor that, uh, you had a cameo in P5, uh, way back when. It wasn't true, but, uh... He, he, he's hiding in the Risei that. poster, just, just right behind her head, you can't tell. <laughs> uh, but he's there. So true. No, but yeah, that's... That's interesting, though, I always wonder, like... I, I guess Narukami is one of the smarter members of the investigation team, but I don't I don't know how much that means considering who else is on that team. Yeah. So hopefully he's not just a liability to those two. One of my favorite things you've ever said, real quick, one of my favorite things you ever said about Persona 4 was it was a ballsy move to make a murder mystery where all of the investigators are complete boneheads. Yeah. <laughs> it's it makes her a very interesting story. Uh to, to put it lightly. It's like imagine if every character in Great Ace Attorney was Herlock. It's all of them. That would be amazing. I'd play that. I want that game now. So like... Alright, so. <laughs> Narukami <laughs> never touched Pokemon before Yosuke, and Yosuke was like, <laughs> how? So they spend a lot of summer break playing Pokemon together in Yosuke's room. I... I'm trying to think. We... I, I think before, we, we don't have to set the, the other recording a lot more than this, but I believe we did determine that Yosuke is a Gen 1-er. Uh, <laughs> which I think is the funniest thing ever. And that Ch- yeah. Chie is a, an X and Y fan. And both yeah. of them are just harassing each other over their opinions, while Narukami is just like, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> and also when Chie and Yosuke are both wrong. Yeah. Just in two very different ways. Yeah, maybe, if, if anything, maybe Narukami got into, like, Pokemon Go. I, I could see that fitting the bill for him. You know, I will say, Pokemon Go and Inaba, where you're just in a field, that just, that seems actually fun. Yeah. 
All right. That's like real Pokemon. Uh, from Hungary, the uh, the man, the myth, the monster. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If he's having a bad day, Akihiko will gain the personality of Travis Touchdown and go ham in his dreams. There, this is this means still, so many things at once. This is the best one we got easily, and <laughs> it's love you. <laughs> I know there's a couple really good um, ones from here, but like, man, I I need to know what this means. <laughs> I loved whenever I could. I, uh, I love that I asked Hungry about this. He said, I don't know, this is the first thing I thought of. Dude, shout out to Hungry. But yeah, I, I like That's to imagine guy. that Akihiko just gets super friggin' pissed angry and just becomes an incel. And just has to, has to work that out. I mean, is Travis... Travis is a very specific character. I don't know if I could straight he's up not, call him an incel, but he, he's something. I don't think... He, he's not necessarily an incel. He's a Redditor. He's not really an incel. He is a I don't know those are synonyms, but like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I will I will say it does kind of because there are there are the, there is the actual scene, which is the security camera footage in P3. Uh, and the one for Akihiko is him reading a book of how to flirt with women because he's really upset that he lost to Junpei. Oh my god. He's like, how the fuck did I lose to Junpei? <laughs> Also, something so kind of has that. <laughs> yeah, real quick, something I said I was going to, I said to myself I was going to mention before, and then still forgot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from yep. here, for everyone's context, um, there will be spoilers because yeah, it's, it's going over all the game. So if you if you don't mind spoilers or you do, if if you do mind, get, get out, leave. We don't want you here. <laughs> we already spoiled Akiko's opinions on women, so that know. is true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and also there's, uh, it's kind of obvious, there's going to be more P3, P4, P5, because Persona fandom, but there's some P1, P2 stuff in there. Alright, so, Yu Narukami gets really into random sports for no reason. He goes horseback riding, paragliding, skating, jet skiing, and the most random stuff. This is based on me playing Go Vacation as a me of Yu Narukami, and it felt really fitting. Yeah. That's I think uh, it fits him. There's the basketball episode of the anime. No, yeah, Narukami is just the man of a million talents and a million responsibilities. Especially, like, yeah, you said the basketball episode. I always think of the, um, the, the summer festival, I think it was, where he's just doing mm -hmm. literally every social link in, like, a week. And he's... That's what I love about, like... <laughs> such a good anime. That's what I kind of like about the, the difference between Yu and Ren, is Yu is generally pretty good at everything he does. Ren sucks at most things he does without Morgana. He struggles. <laughs> <laughs> he needs the help from his little crap, uh, cat friend. I love, I love Ren. All right, also final, <laughs> final spoiler warning going into this next one, but in the bad P5 Royal ending where you accept the offer and new reality, even the Akechi, even, even Akechi, is being super friendly and nice. The real version of himself is conscious, but imprisoned in his own body, and is constantly screaming internally at Joker during their chess game in the credits. This is real. This it's is just real. this is just how the game. This is just how the plot is. This is us when we play chess for real, like me and you. Oh no, I I, I do love because like Akechi's whole thing in that arc is just I don't want to be contained. Let me out. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired of being nice? Yeah. Um, this did, you know, this did kind of happen to us. That time we were playing chess in Clubhouse, you disconnected from Discord, didn't notice. So you keep talking or whatever, and I can't hear you, but you didn't check Discord, so you're like, man, Michelle's really focused. <laughs> That's Listen, a catchy. I'm just like a catchy. You can quote that in any context you want. <laughs> I'm just like Joker. Oh, no. All right, so... I like to imagine Ryuji told his mom that he was a phantom thief as soon as he got the chance. He told her what he did in the metaverse that day, but twisted it a bit so she didn't worry about him. I also think he described Mona to her and she was surprised with the Mona mask. Yeah, I yes. just... Imagining... It's impossible for Ru Ryuji not to have told someone explicitly. Like, he... Yeah. He tries to not. But he had to sell someone. I could see it being his mom. Uh, and it fits. He's like, no, no, no. I, I, I did really good. I, I took down, I took down Yadavath. It was all me. It was me. I did it. I still, I still do adore that conversation. Uh, <laughs> where Koda's like, haha, check your phone. 
Hey guys, you ready for the Phantom Thief meeting? I love- Brent didn't even have him on speaker. Ryuji was just so loud, but Koto could hear him from across the table. No, yeah, he, he was shouting in his bedroom so everyone could hear it. So uh, good. Alright, so, Teddy's persona is a panic room that he hides in whenever Yosuke bullies him. I wanna- I wanna flip this. Mm -hmm. Teddy's bullying Yosuke. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what this. Okay. I don't care what this says. Yosuke yeah. can't do anything to mess with Teddy in the same way that Teddy can him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So is Teddy just like crawling in there like a bunker or something? I think so. I, I think that I might be wrong, but I think that's also a thing in Arena that he can do. It might be. That I might, might be, be how he. That. How he, I don't know. I need to play more Arena. Oh gosh! I need Atlas to release Arena so I can play it. For sure, Atlas, you have a job to do. Uh, Mishima has a pinned tweet on his Twitter account that's just a thread of characters he has in Elite Smash, and there is one post in the thread, and it's Joker. Yeah, I. <laughs> uh, I love this one. I I appreciate that the Persona fandom very much understands its characters on a core level, and they know how they think. Because this might be the most accurate thing I've ever read in my life. Um, but it also, uh, it, it does imply that Mishima managed to get Joker into Elite Smash. I also like the idea that following the Joker tweet, uh, there's just a second tweet that just says, that's just him saying he's not in Elite Smash anymore. Oh no! He lost his first fight. It is, <laughs> I think that might cause Joker to have to go back in and freaking talk some sense into him again <laughs> shadow yeah. mishima returns all right uh teddy is Yunarakami's shadow so we're gonna we're gonna ignore that one uh, for yeah. for an even better one uh Yunarakami works at subway which is basically True. the same thing as what we just read but more accurate yeah yeah i i don't think we we went over it in the last time but like with, with the teddy is narakami shadow thing what uh, what compelled? I, I like Matt Pat. What compelled him? What? Well, why did he do this? <laughs> why would he say this? I love that there's video where he just watched through that game theory video. Uh, yeah. Because he points out one, his bullshit fifth theory was more act was like a better theory. Yeah, it, um, it's basically the same thing. Just makes more sense somehow. Yeah, so there's that, and then there's also, as Feather points out, it's such a weird, it was such a weird time for MatPat to do that video as well, because it was during peak P5 popularity. It was literally, I believe, as the anime was coming out. Like, yeah, like, right. that's like, that's like peak P5 hype. Like, P5, so, like, P that was specifically like peak P5, because that was like just before, I believe, Joker was announced for Smash. So yeah, it, was it was just like dedicated in the fandom before there was any cynicism. It was like, dude, this is awesome. And then he made a, a really weird P4 theory. Um, yeah. But I digress. Uh, by knowing about the abuses of her colleague and doing nothing, Kawakami had culpability, which eventually developed into a full palace. She knew the Phantom Thieves would get her if they knew, so she distracts Joker with massages so he won't find out. I... Yeah. I just love the idea of Kawakami constantly just giving these massages to Joker and the guilt slowly <laughs> just associating with that. So like, her palace ends up as like a massage par uh, parlor or something. So true. And yeah. then we could just have Sauna play the entire time because everyone wants to hear that. <laughs> and then no. nobody will get through her palace. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I have a headcanon that Hatsune Miku from Persona 4 Dancing is a robot like Aegis and was made to entertain the masses while killing shadows in the background. I love this. I want this. I love it. I want her to have Aegis hooves. Miku needs to be the new mascot of the shadow operatives and just yeah. slay. Because she's probably more capable than Labrys or friggin' Aegis. Yeah. She can do it. Uh... All right, Joker is actually this. I can't. I can never read this one without laughing because this is the first one I saw out of all of these, and it's still the funniest thing to this day. 
Joker is actually an ethical vegan. He eats the Big Bang Burger to fit in with society, and then goes to LeBlanc and cries because he's powerful enough to kill God, but not strong enough to get the veggie burger. I do love this one a lot. It... Yeah, because the way we've described it a lot is just Morgana being there both to comfort him and make fun of him at the same time for this. Which, don't worry, to be fair... <laughs> to be fair, if he did order a veggie burger from Big Bang Burger, I feel like at least half of the thieves would laugh at him. Yeah, you're also, you're also insisting that Big Bang Burger has real veggie burgers. I don't... Yeah. I don't know if I don't know if Okumura would put in that effort. I like the idea. I like I like the other idea, which is that Ren does order veggie burgers, but then whenever Haru learns about that, she's like, you know, it's not a veggie burger. You know, it's you know, it's still meat, right? Oh no! <laughs> you know, it's the, it's literally the exact same thing. It just costs five dollars more, right? I don't I don't think Haru has the heart to tell him. <laughs> she can't do it. Uh, <laughs> the shadows in P5 are just demons. In P3 and 4, it made sense that they weren't called demons because they were just strange entities, so they got a new name as shadows, but it's the same as in P1 and 2 where they're Kaneko demon designs as enemies. And then they also mentioned Raido at the end of that for some reason. Um, yeah, because this is this is like the first like legitimate theory. I mean, maybe I don't see one account like the Akechi thing from before. And I don't, I don't really get it. Mm -hmm. Like, there is a particular reason why... With it being like a mental scape, especially with P5, because P5 is very accurate to like the whole like Jungian psychology aspect of things. I don't see why now mm -hmm. they would be demons unless they're just talking about the demons in my head, um, but that, that's neither here nor there. I I think yeah. them being shadows makes way more sense than just demons. And one of two makes sense because they become personas. Yeah, and one of two it makes more sense because you're dealing with like the apocalypse both times in a, in a more direct yeah. sense um before joker went to shibuya academy due to him being sued by shido he was actually a very talkative guy but what shido did to him be that what shido did to him he became very distant towards everyone and rarely talked as a result of it this is one i've considered a lot and i don't know if i fully see mm -hmm. it but it's about as understandable as the alternative yeah. I, I, I think it's I think a it little makes, character thing it makes for him. Sense. It makes sense, but I also think it also makes sense that he was a fucking loser and had no <laughs> friends. Yeah, no, like, as Persona protagonists go, like, it's not that he seems happy that he's in the new city, but he doesn't seem distraught enough at the start of P5 where he's like, all my friends are gone. He's not texting anyone. He's just like, well, I'm here now. I also, uh, I mean, I think, like, out of every Persona protagonist, like, I guess he's Joker's one of the more sociable ones who, like, I could believe that with, because, like, Monado didn't have friends. No one likes him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with Narukami. I mean, I guess in P1, I mean, I guess in P1, that protagonist did start the game with friends. Yeah. But, you know. Oh, uh, man. So uh, that's to you, kind of, but... Mm. Keisuke from Persona 3 grows up to be Maruki from Royal. Keisuke did want to become a doctor to help everyone and everything. And, I mean, look at them. I will never mm. not hate this image comparison. Get it out of it's my the face. Worst. I hate it. I don't want, I don't I don't want like to see it. these Stop two side by side. Uh, and don't I'll, do that to Maruki. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Vincent... Maruki's like... <laughs> well, real quick. I was gonna say, Maruki's like pathetic, but he's like a hot kind of pathetic. Yeah. Keisuke is just sad. You, you know, Maruki managed to get a girlfriend. I can't. I don't know. If, I don't know if I can say that much about Keisuke, but we'll. No. We'll, we'll leave that one up to you guys. All right. So, uh, just simply put, Vincent was canon, uh, referring to P3P where he's at the bar. But it, no, no, it's not. It's not him. He's got a mole. This guy's got a mole, I, and it's Japanese. I did explain this to you in our uh, previous recording, the, the backstory of Vincent and P3P. It's really funny. I don't get the, the point. <laughs> yeah. 
Because it's not. If it's not Vincent, it, it's it's literally just A U Japanese Vincent. He's there. Why? He's you hanging know, out. You know, maybe he is canon. Good. We'll we'll leave that in mind. Uh, <laughs> all right, th this one uh, I relate to. Joker would have infiltrated my palace if I didn't stop him. This is us. This is us. He can't do anything because I'm just like evil. Well, because we're influencers, obviously. You can't oh. change the heart of an influencer. Oh gosh, <laughs> the more <laughs> listen, guys. The more subscribers I get, uh, the the more powerful my mental palace gets. So um. You, you know what to do. We will unsubscribe. I like when you when I uh, when when Oziak hits a million uh, subscribers. I just want the 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 mementos real world fusion to happen. Dude, I will literally become the god of control. This is <laughs> this is our fate. I can I become the Joker if you're gonna become the god of control. What's the difference? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't really care if this makes sense in the video. Igor is the father of all the Velvet Room attendants, uh, and they're all Igor's children. Uh, and they're referring to everyone in the blue suit, so three and onwards. Yeah, so who had sex yeah. with Igor? Who let you this asked happen? This question last time. I, I didn't, didn't get an answer. answer. I, I didn't want to answer. It. I didn't. I didn't want to answer it two days ago, and I don't want to answer it now. You know, everyone in the comments, make sure to comment who <laughs> Igor had sex with. I or think Igor can reproduce asexually. That's even scarier! Where does- where do they- <laughs> Alright, we're not getting into the rabbit hole! You're the one who freaking ass. I- You're the one who ass. I'm <laughs> trying to- you know, there- there's some situations where you get too close to the truth and you just need to- you need to step away and call the police. Uh, kind and of be like, I'm just like Icarus. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of, Maya Amano has several warrants out for her arrest for speeding and hit running cr er, yeah, hit and run crimes. I believe it. Yeah. It's, it's just that positivity. Nothing can stop her. Ain't nobody gonna break her stride. <laughs> no one will slow her down. Is Maya the equivalent of that Pichu video? Yeah. It, for context, it's literally just a video of Pichu to that song, just crawling, and then Ganondorf murders him. In Smash Bros. Yeah. Yeah, it's Smash. Well, no, no, no. You don't have to specify in Smash. I'll leave that up to their imagination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it could be Ganondorf and uh, Pokemon Z. Exactly. Oh, gosh, I remember Pokemon He's in Z. Animal Crossing, so you know. True. <laughs> Philemon has been trapped for like two decades now, and that is why he hasn't appeared. And when he comes back, crap is going down. Yeah, so I believe Philemon has just been in a spider web since Persona Q. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. That, that's the last we ever heard from him. But as I said, that also begs the question of who, who knows the plot to Persona Q. No one, so we'll scratch that out. But <laughs> yep. Philemon just got wiped. Uh, Alright, now for a legitimate theory uh, that mm -hmm. is seen pretty often. Uh, Akechi and Futaba are blood related through Shido. This, this is just sad. Yeah. I don't, I don't like this, but I, I get it. I don't know if I agree with it, but this, it's just sad. It's just sad. Oh man. Uh, oh, this, no man, I hate this one even more. <laughs> Joker's parents are Vincent and Catherine. It was primarily Catherine's idea to send him to Tokyo, and Vincent just kind of went along with it. So this has a couple implications to it. But I, uh... My favorite implication being that Joker's American. Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess Joker is just pretending to be Japanese. Because, like, th those two are just white. Yeah. <laughs> Or, I mean, maybe, I don't, I don't want to. No, they're white. Well, no, I, I was going to say, maybe, maybe they got the wrong baby. But, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the Toko Fukawa situation? Oh, no. <laughs> also, no. Also known as a me situation, I guess. In the, yeah, never mind. 
I want to think about that. Oh, man. Uh, DMC and Persona are the same series. Don't, That's so true. Don't tell this to Ash. No one, no one, no one this tells. So true. Yeah. I mean, it's got, it's got, uh, it's got demons. People being like, put Dante in Smash. It's like, bitch, he was the first DLC character. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Teddy is not, oh, I, I legit forgot about this. Um, uh. Teddy is Nanako's mother's shadow, and that's why he is so attached to her. You know, a lot of these have a certain implication to it. Uh-huh. So, Dojima. <laughs> Stop. Teddy. I'm not doing this again. No. This is our fate. <laughs> I don't... I, I mean, you I and like Teddy it. already- you and Teddy already glomped, or whatever the fuck. What do you mean by this? <laughs> yeah, you- it's not in the anime. In Persona 4 Golden, there is a scene where, uh, I think it's Teddy asks you what glomping is or some shit. Oh, you're right. Okay. Uh, I forget- I forget exactly what it is, but yeah, so- you just starts passionately hugging him, and then Dojima just walks in and goes, What the fuck are you two doing? I feel that on a spiritual level. I'm just like Teddy. <laughs> Alright, here, here's, a, here's a little fun one, uh, if, if that last one wasn't fun enough. Uh, the Phantom okay. Thieves play Minecraft every weekend. Futaba and Ryuji hunt for diamonds and go to the nether, but Ryuji always dies somehow. Haru does all the farming and crops and nothing else. Makoto only hunts for mobs, occasionally joins with Futaba and Ryuji. Yusuke builds the group house, but never finishes because he's too picky. Joker does whatever he thinks is best at the moment. Morgana can't play, so Joker uses the Morgana skin. And Kasumi rarely plays, but still likes to here and there. Uh, I like... I, I also... I uh, My idea for a Phantom Thieves Discord... Or not Discord, a Phantom Thieves Minecraft server is uh, Ren does all the important things while everyone else does dumb shit. Yeah, it, it's, it's like him and Makoto going off. Uh, Haru is trying to farm, and, like, Samire is just trying to help, but ends up eating all the food because she's wasting all her stamina. And then I, yeah. I like to imagine Ryuji helping out Yusuke with the house. Uh, mm -hmm. But Yusuke just keeps rebuilding it, and Ryuji is tired of everything. And then I'll, I'll stick with him still randomly dying. I think that fits. And, and then Futaba's in creative yeah. mode, but nobody knows. I like to think, I like to think Futaba beats the end without them. <laughs> oh gosh, it's just one of those. That is fitting. She's like, well, we had to get out of the way. I also think, I also like the idea of them trying to get Zenkichi to play because that's just funny. I need just anything. Make it a comic, an OVA, something. Show me the fan of Thieves trying to teach Zenkichi Minecraft. This, this is everything I need in life. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Nanako becomes uh, a Persona user sometime down the line, probably with a maternal theme Persona, and becomes one of the party members for Persona 6. No, you stupid idiot dummy. Nanako is already the protagonist of Persona 5 coming winter 2024. It's so... Uh, alongside it's Shomanazuki. So true. It's so true. <laughs> We've already covered it's this. It's so true. Uh, actually like the best persona theory in history it's so funny because it, it it is weird to think about like how prevalent persona 4 like took over that fandom uh where mm. it was just like oh yeah going forward we literally cannot let go of these characters it will continue from here uh yep and now i want my nanako shomanazuki game <laughs> the duo we've all been waiting for I don't know, what's funnier, th what's funnier, that theory or the unironic Persona 6 or 7 confirmed? You know... I... <laughs> Dude, this fandom is beautiful. Both are a... Both are a special kind of stupid. You call it stupid. I call it enlightened. I we are not the same! Th <laughs> the best part of that thumbnail isn't just the hilarious fact that they just don't know what Persona 1 and 2 are, 
But I think the best part of it is the circle with 500 arrows that makes it look like a parody. Yeah, I... It's so good. But it was... I don't think it was a parody. I think that was real. No, it was a real video that got taken down when they got cyberbullied. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, this is an idea I find really cool. Uh, Velvet attendants are past wild uh, wild cards who either failed their mission or have passed away. I love this. I want this no, yeah, to be this real. Is, this, is, uh, th this is my favorite theory that's, like, not a joke. This is my favorite one. I think this is really cool. Yeah, because this, this brings to mind for me, like, what would it be like to, like, I guess try and design personas for, like, Elizabeth or Margaret or, like... Caroline, Justine, Lavenza, even freaking like Belladonna or something like that. Like, I I want to see what people would come up with. Theodore. That. No, I didn't forget. I knew what I said. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, because I want to see. Because like the closest thing we really have to um, like I guess a dedicated persona for any of them is like Thanatos is used by Elizabeth and Arena, and then otherwise I guess they all just use like Yoshitsune. Because strong. I, I also like the implication that uh, the all every female wild card sucks ass and keeps dying. Oh no. Yeah, that really, that really does just leave Theodore, which that one I can that that's expected. My my There's, popcorn look, man. If, if Theo was if Theo was a real person who was a wild card trying to save the world, I truly believe that yes, he would have failed his mission. Oh no. Uh. Uh, moving on. Alice was using Emma to get people to sub to her OnlyFans. See, I asked for theories. This is a fact. <laughs> you just, you just described the plot of Persona 5 Strikers to me. Yeah, and I don't, I, I believe your immediate response before was just Natsume doing this. And that yeah, still haunts me to this Natsume day. Did. Because I don't, I don't like imagining yeah. Natsume nudes on the internet and or him using that same like cardboard cutout from his boss fight and it's just like some freaking like arnold schwarzenegger fabio model and then you push it down and it's just naked uh, no i don't want this Bad. i really like this haunts me to this day something you heard two days ago it's haunted me for two days <laughs> uh uh, me with Violet Evergarden. This has affected me forever. That that's gonna stick with you for life. <laughs> watch Violet Evergarden. That is nerds. true. Oh, man, it's ruining my life. Please watch it. Uh, oh yeah, the reporter in P5 is actually Yukiko Amagi undercover. She got burnt out from running the inn and ran away to Tokyo, changed her name, etc. So now she's a drunk reporter. Yeah, this this if you know Amanda Win Lee, the the voice actor for both. Yeah, that checks out. Or just y Yukiko is like that, a ticking time bomb. It's a career path. I do find it really funny, by the way, the characters that do have VAs from previous Persona games are really funny because they are all like vague references to a minor part of their character. Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's Yukiko's VA, which is kind of a playing Oyo, which is kind of a reference to the, the King's game. You have... Uh, Yukari's VA who plays Kawakami, which is a reference to, uh, the scene where Yukari wears a maid dress. Mm. Um, and then, uh, there's Marie's VA who plays Hifumi, which I don't really know if that's a reference, but it's still funny. I didn't even know she voiced... Huh. I, I, yeah, I prefer... she got to play a good character, finally. I'm proud of her. Yeah, oh gosh, there... <laughs> you just set a fire. Uh... <laughs> My personal headcanon is that oh this one is that when Shinji went to the roof at the end of P3P to see Katone, he was still in pain and he shouldn't have been out of the hospital. So when he gets there, he's he's with her. He succumbs to his wounds at the same time Katone passes away. This is horrible. Because <laughs> again, he's just been in a. I, I believe P3P. It's just that he's in a coma, right? Uh, something like that. Yeah, so you just have this guy finally getting up out of his coma and walking up to the roof while Katoni is basically just laying there, like, already about to die. And it's like, imagining he just, like, flops over before he even reaches the top of the stairs. <laughs> just... I think from what I heard, because I still haven't played Portable, from what I heard, it, I think it's something like 
the the wristwatch that Femsi gives him, if you did the right stuff, basically helped him survive the bullet because the bullet like hit off of it or whatever. But this is even more beautiful because he still dies. <laughs> I like before what you mentioned. Uh, I think it was that I guess who just shows up right after them, and they're both just already yeah. dead. Yeah. That that's a scene that I need to see animated. <laughs> It'd be great. Oh, man. Uh, in addition to our cafe chain, one of Haru's ideas that gets implemented with Okumura Foods is a fleet of food trucks that looks like the Morgana Mobile. Nobody really gets it, but the food is popular. I I just want her to succeed and have her funny little cat bus business, and I also want to buy one of those. That that That's one of the things that stuck I with me after P5, is that, that bus is ugly, but I want it. I, I like the idea. I like the idea that Haru spent probably millions of company resources for the sake of an inside joke that like ten people will get. <laughs> Personas I, are actually. That does remind oh. me. Yeah, yeah. Interrupt that one. That's good. That's okay. That's that's worth it. You, you heard what it was. <laughs> I need to think about that. I was gonna say it does remind me it's like really funny about strikers, which is that nobody ever really brings up the fact that Mona can turn into a bus to Zenkichi and Sophie. Like he does it for attacks, but nobody really talks about it and they never actually drive him. Yeah, don't don't think about it, literally. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Zenkichi's already having a breakdown. Uh, Sophia, I I don't think she even knows what a cat is. I think that's real. She thought it was a raccoon. <laughs> I mean, isn't he though? Uh, I don't know. Talk about your fucking balls. I don't want to talk about personas are actually stored in the balls. Okay, then move on. Do the next <laughs> one. Uh, all right, this, this one's about on par with that. Adachi lied and his real motivation to murder was watching Death Note. So true. This, this, is, this makes more sense than his actual motivation. Adachi be like, I'm just like Light Yagami. I, I think the only thing that works better than Adachi being an incel uh, is, is Adachi being a weeb. We, we all reached that limit, you know? There are people who <laughs> relate to Adachi. Like, like for real. I'm, I'm just like Adachi. I'm going to become Adachi. Uh, oh, we, we got a... <laughs> Oh, we got this. <laughs> Sojuro is actually Joker's uncle. They have similar features, hair and eye color, and Sojuro took him in for no reason besides I know your parents. Of course, it would be weird that he's never met his uncle before, but I don't know, it's possible. Followed up by a, a beautiful one that I love to mix with this. Sojuro is Ryuji's dad. This doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in game, but it's fun to think about since they also have similar facial features and mannerisms. Also, they are the only characters to roll their pants up at the ankles. I need so these both to be true at once. Sojo is Vincent's brother. Yeah, yeah. Just ro rope in the the Vincent Catherine parent theory. Uh, yeah. So Sojo is Vincent's. Yeah. So Vincent is the uncle of Ryuji, who for some reason Sojo just completely detached himself with, and now he has a new daughter that's also not his. Um. <laughs> And then Joker. The one kid he never took care of was his own. <laughs> you know, I always knew he was the, the most relatable dad in the series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, only two left. Okay. Uh, if, if, you, if you're ready for this uh, this final foray. So, okay. <laughs> P3MC's depression didn't truly kick in until we realized there were doormates in the dorms. They did. I do love this one. My favorite way of looking at it is not. He was cool with like living with Mitsuru, Yukari, and Aki because they're cool people. But then Junpei showed up at the door like a week later, and he was really upset about it. Listen, if anything's going to compel you to kill yourself <laughs> and just give up, give up on all hope in the world, Junpei, Junpei Yori, Junpei Yori might be the one to crack that code. All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. All right. The finale. This is the most important one, and I saved the best for last. Katone has been banned from approximately... It's been for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Katone has been banned from approximately 43 Discord servers, pulling D's, no D's nuts jokes on the mods. <laughs> this yes. lines up with her personality too well. 
Uh, this is why Femsi's great, because she's such a little bastard. Uh, and that's that, that. I'm pretty sure that's just the plot of Persona Q2 as well. She did fucking choke out a fucking cop in that game. Based Katoni as always. Love her. All right, yeah, that'll be it for this, but I hope you guys appreciated this. And uh, anything you'd like to share with the class, Michelle, before we leave? Uh, I don't know. Love I to hear it. All right, I see you guys later.